Right now we do want to get to some breaking news out of Parkland. You are looking at at a massive fire that actually erupted overnight. Heavy smoke and flames could be seen coming from a barn and we have just learned a firefighter is in the hospital. Our Terry Hornstein is live near the scene with what we know at this hour. Hey Terry. Yeah, Austin, that firefighter taken to the hospital for heat exhaustion. The good news, he is expected to be okay, but I want to show you what it looks like here at this uh, home at this hour, and you can see there are hot spots still smoking at this time. Fire crews still working on containing them hours after this fire first broke out. Let's show you some video from early this morning after this happened around 5 in the morning before the sun came up. You can see lots of flames there. So we're told this is a barn as well as a guest house. They kept some chickens in there, but fire crews were able to get those chickens out. It also serves as a guest house when this family has uh, people come to stay over. So just moments ago, we spoke to a neighbor who says she was out walking her dog very early this morning. She saw the smoke and that's when she called 911. Listen to what she told us. I ran into the house. I got my phone. Um, I tried I called 911 and then I tried to call my neighbor across the street and they didn't answer. So I ran over there and I knocked, I, I knocked, I rang the bell, I was banging on windows and I finally got them up. You know, when we were talking to that neighbor, she was pretty scared even hours after all of this happened. She says a family with two young children live inside the home that's in front of this guest house and barn. So thankfully, because of her, her, none of them were hurt. But you're looking at the aftermath here. You can see the destruction from Chopper 4. Now, uh, something that fire crews did tell us is they use their trucks, uh, the hoses from their trucks. They also have another hose that is looped around this neighborhood into a canal. They're pulling water from there as well to work on containing these hot spots as they continue to burn at this time. Now, as far as what caused this fire, well, that investigation is just beginning. Of course, as soon as we know, we'll let you know. We're live in Parkland this morning. Terry Hornstein, CBS News, Miami.